What we have here is the Mono Tragapon Photo Blind. I picked this up because of all the options and also because of the weight. The Mono Photo Blind is actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. I set this up last night to see how easy it was to put together and really I had it together in like, I don't know, not even five minutes. So setup is really fast and easy. It did not come with the tarp you see underneath. I had to buy that separately. And I'll have a link to that if you pick this one up. So, I'm gonna have a few videos on this mono blind, taking it out and testing it out. And we'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. On first evaluation, this is my opinion only, is I really didn't like the hub system they have that pulls it up and I know what they're trying to do is make it quick but I don't find that all that great it seems to me like it could break in time I really really would have preferred poles because if a pole would have broke I could have you know bought a set of new poles and I would have been all set so I really don't like that hub design they have but, like I said, we'll see as I go and as I test it. Everything does go down pretty good. The, uh, the fly itself was really easy to put on. Not sure you can see this, you know. But it is repelling the moisture pretty good. It does not need waterproofing when you buy it. It's basically it's polyester. You're off and running. Inside, they've got like plastic zippers that are tucked underneath there which work all right you know not too bad you get a lot of pieces with it um they say you can have two people shooting here you can but i, I think you'd be kind of tight to be honest with you i really do Seems to get caught on this one corner here for some reason. Now I think one of the big pluses to this is um, how much it weighs. Is, is what I think it is. It's really, you know, like five, six pounds. And it's more if you carry all the attachments with it. But if you get it configured the way you want, and then you only take it like that you're looking at maybe i don't know six pounds so it is kind of nice for carrying short distances you can sleep in it i wouldn't say it's great in a downpour okay if you really got out there i think it would get wet inside especially with all those holes in it and stuff but um i haven't tested that yet we'll see that's just my experience because of you know i've been hiking for over 20 years so I have a pretty good idea when I see something, what's gonna happen to it when I get it out there. Um, other reasons I bought this was because I usually go out a lot of times with my German Shepherd. And that's kind of funny when you do wildlife photography, you're taking a German Shepherd with you because she'll actually scare away any animals you see. But when she's in a tent, I've actually trained her where she just kind of lays down and lets me do my thing because I've had other blinds. And when she's inside, she doesn't see nothing so they're not gonna see her so that's another good reason for it so there is enough room for me to sleep in this with my German Shepherd and my equipment now if you had two guys trying to sleep in this no nah, you're not gonna have enough room for you and your two guys and their equipment so I would consider that I mean maybe if you tuck that at the end it would be kind of tight but um, and that has goods and bad points. I mean, if you start making things too big, they start to get too heavy. You know, if you got just enough room for stuff, then you're dealing with less weight. And if you're backpacking with it, then that's kind of ideal, right? Um, the company themselves, they were not fun to deal with. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I originally emailed them in Facebook. Customer service was horrible. It took over, I, guess, I think it was almost a week before they replied to me. And then... Uh, and then right after I bought it, I don't know, it was like, I don't know, maybe six hours, eight hours. They sent out a coupon saying get $15 off or something. 
so you may want to ask if they have any coupon specials or wait but um you know i sent them an email saying hey i just order it can i can i tap into that special and they emailed me back very quickly and said no you can't sorry i thought wow it makes you kind of feel like you got ripped off i mean i didn't feel very good about the company at all took about a week and a half to come in ground shipping free and um it didn't come with the tent stakes or the ropes. Emailed the company. They did email me back within a couple hours. And they said, we're sorry. Sometimes that happens. And uh, we'll get that out to you. So I'm waiting for the stakes and the ropes to come in now. And I'm just kind of like, what do you mean sometimes that happens? Obviously, if it happens once or twice, you need to do a quality check and make sure everything's in the box. So... Customer service, like I said, is lousy. The product itself seems pretty good. So if you're going to buy this, I don't know, I think I'd pick it up off Amazon just so you got some type of protection. And I'll have the links in the bottom if you want to pick this up. But this is the first initial review of this uh, Mono Photo Photo Blind. And uh, I've had it outside for 24 hours now. I wanted to see how much moisture it picked up. And it doesn't look like it's picking up moisture, so it's not going to be that big a deal. Easy to break down, easy to put up. Lots of options. If you take every little gadget with you for every window, then you're going to be heavy. You know, 10, 12 pounds. But, and also, I believe this was, was $335. And then if you wanted side windows, which literally will attach here. So you'll literally get a window that attaches here at a screen. Those were more money. They were extra. And if you want one on each end, you're going to have to buy both of them. And I can't remember what they were, like $35 a piece or something. I bought both in case I want to use them. Here in Tennessee, we get, uh, we get really warm. I do have another blind, and uh, it's heavy. It's like 20 pounds, and it's too hot to use in the summer. It's okay if I'm nearby. I unload it off my truck, set it up. But this one here just looks ideal. And then trying to find stuff that's camouflage. You know, shooting holes. I mean, your options are limited out there. So there really is not much competition when it comes to uh, really great photo blinds. Not yet, anyways. To me, it seems like the model is, uh, is the way to go right now from all the research I did. So I'll have other videos on this, but that's my first experience on this. If you're thinking about buying this, I noticed there was no videos on YouTube. And uh, I'll be able to set up and see what it feels like. Oh, the floor itself is pretty thick. It does unzip the floor. Now, keep in mind, you put a lawn chair in there, you're going to probably poke holes in that floor. And the floor does unzip. So really think about the type of chair you're going to put inside here that has, you know, roundness at the bottom so it doesn't cut holes in into the into the bottom of it and I would suggest you get you know a tarp underneath it so you're protecting your floor also I would think and that thing's really cheap and that seems to be the perfect size because um, the bars themselves if I go down here and show you you see there they actually the stakes themselves well and these will pull out yet I just need another stake see those those will come way out yet but you'll see the stakes themselves go right into the um, the tarp so that's really nice but it is repelling the moisture and like I said it doesn't have to be waterproof or anything like that now with me and my dog, well, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be shooting from the end or shooting from the long side. And this is the end here, where the dog would have more room behind me or more room to the side of me. We'll have to see. And I'll make a few more videos on this as I use it more, but it does look like something I'm gonna use a lot. You know, the product itself, like I said, I'm really impressed with the product. I really don't like the hub system. I wish that was something different where it would last longer. Customer service <laughs> totally sucks. Totally sucks. 
I was actually thinking about buying a couple other blinds they offer, one that you actually lay down in. And as soon as they said, no way on a customer service, I was like, well, I'm not buying anymore. I mean, it just didn't make me feel right. Because, you know, you never know. I mean, each situation is completely different. And uh, as soon as they turned me down for the coupon, I was like, well, that's it. That's the end of my business for you. But like I said, the product itself seems well made. It's going to take a little while to get to you. It's only like Amazon with two-day shipping. And uh, it does have a lot of options. And because it's uh, well camouflaged, especially in the fall, I mean, it, it's definitely going to blend in really well. Oh, and you even got these, um, you got these tie-downs here. So I, I could tie, you know, other vegetation to this to really camouflage it up better if I want. So, and this is where you could tie it down even more if you're in a windstorm type of thing. So there is a quick review on the Mono Photo Blind. And that's just my personal view, everything I dealt with with this company. But everything does work since I set it up, waiting on the guidelines and the, the poles here. But um, it's just my personal view. I wanted to rave about it. I really did. But customer service really was horrible. Anyhow, I'll give you links at the bottom if you want to pick one up. It does look pretty impressive. And uh, I'll make a few more as I use it. You'll probably see me using it within my backpack as I go along. And... Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.